<clears throat> Imagine your entire life being defined solely by your last name. From birth, having family values deeply instilled. Family respect, honor, loyalty, and even superstition being taught throughout your life. Egypt. This is their flag. Um, in Egyptian culture, family plays a significant role in all aspects of life. Understanding how family status strongly dictates Egyptian life is necessary to understanding their culture, whether it's visiting for school or work obligations or traveling for leisure. Through the extensive research I've done, I've learned quite a few things about the Egyptian family values, honor, social class, even superstitions. So we'll just jump right in. Um, for Family is the most significant unit in Egyptian society. Opportunities available to an individual, the way they communicate, nothing plays a bigger role than the family unit. According to Comiseco Global's January 2020 article, it is the most significant unit in Egyptian society. And the status is even more defined on your family than even on absolute wealth. Imagine that for a second. You could win the lottery and have millions of dollars at your disposal, but it doesn't change your last name. Kinship is important in all aspects of social relations and business. Ahmed Mohad Ali's of Science Direct published an August of 2018 article stating that nepotism is viewed positively due to um, it being your fa family's patronage and the family most significant unit. They must always subordinate to their family. Families, like Americans, are nuclear and extended. Unlike Americans, they all live either in the same home or in very close proximity to each other. So they place a really significant value on family values. So it's no surprise that they hold honor for their family in a very high regard. Egypt is a country in uh, North Africa. It's shaped all day like Missouri. But that doesn't... It is shaped all day like Missouri. Not my point. Um, we move on to point two in my presentation, which is about honor. And how honor is strictly entwined with your reputation and representative of your entire family. Honor even dictates how well you dress based on your financial situation. It's an important facet in all relationships, and you must always show respect and esteem for your family and for anyone in a position of authority. <laughs> you must always demonstrate hospitality. And in Egyptian culture, a man's word is his bond. And to go back on that word would bring dishonor not only to himself, but to his entire family. So it's... Not just you, it's it's like they're all in it to win it. They always defer to elders in positions of authority or power. And the last thing we want to talk about is superstition. Egyptian families adhere to etiquette and superstition. And, um... Sorry. According to culturetrip.com's October 2022 posting. Superstitions can go back centuries and some of them are pretty unique and interesting. One of the ones I thought was so funny was that you must finish your juice. If you're in an Egyptian home, if you are in an Egyptian home and they offer you a glass of juice, you must finish that glass. If you don't, that can mean that the host's daughters will never marry. Also, if you spill your tea or coffee, they think of that as a good sign. It's supposed to bring good fortune and good things to come. Now, if you have a new home or new business, it's important that you step in with your right leg. This is said to bring prosperity and good luck to the business or home and to the family. So in conclusion, if like me, you always thought of Egypt as pyramids, 
it really is family has is the cornerstone of Egyptian culture and understanding its role is vital to understanding Egyptians. Family structure and patronage define the opportunities of an individual's life. Maintaining honor for oneself is maintaining honor for their entire family. And understanding their etiquettes and superstitions is necessary to having a successful visit in an Egyptian home. So if you ever get the opportunity to visit Egypt, just make sure that you respect their family values. And keep in mind that most of us got to choose who or what we wanted to be regardless of our last name.